Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, I'm going to be testing out C-Dance 1.0 so you don't have to. Now, I know you've seen every day there's someone saying, it's over. This is the end. Your job's taken because AI, all that stuff. Now, I don't usually make kind of these kind of videos, but after seeing this result, I had to see it for myself. So I signed up for it. Yeah, let's take a look at my results. All right. What you're looking at right now, this is Mix VO3 and C Dance because I'm trying both. Here's the first one. And the prompt is on the right side a sleek red sports car with aggressive aerodynamic lines, pack on wet. It doesn't look too bad, right? Looks pretty good. It's only 720p, so it might be a little bit low res. But after this, it just went sideways. I, I wanted it to move, drifts around a sharp mountain bend, kicking up smoke and debris, camera cap is seen dynamic. So. I tried using like long paragraphs first, and then you'll see I kind of shorten it later. But this looks like a freaking slideshow, which is a camera zooming out, like a picture zooming out. It's supposed to be a text to video. So that sucks. That's a waste of money. And these are Vimeos. This right here, I always do. Whenever there is a model that looks good, it's supposed to look good, I always try this prompt. Again, not happy with it. It's It's not like mind-blowing and groundbreaking like everybody says and it's just used that stuff for like farm baiting or view bait then i tried some samurai one which actually this one didn't do too bad it's following the the samurai on a horse galloping which is pretty darn good i mean you can use this for a movie like a short or something like that now this is like the shorter sentences here now but i said hey you know i kind of want it like a camera from behind the samurai, kind of following it as it goes in the middle of a dense forest. Again, this is a short, this is a short one. And I got a samurai on a horse going just back and forth. So that said, whenever it comes to this kind of stuff, and to be honest, ByteDance's facial animation, I absolutely love. I think it's still the best one out there. I think we hyper... Omni or Hyperhuman, whatever I reviewed a couple of months back. It's still the best one to this date, and I still use it. But this here, this text to video, it's just not there, you know. So that, that said, I would probably pass on this if I were you guys. I mean, I didn't really try the image to video yet. That might be better. I'll probably make a different video for that if the results are different. But the text to video is just not good, man. But that said, if you're having a different experience with C-Dance 1.0, let me know in the comments below. I'd like to see what you got as far as your results go. But So this is one of the issues with generating videos. Because right now, I get, I'm getting a lot of questions like, Hey, Jay, is it worth it? Is it worthless learning Unreal and animation? Because AI is going to take it over. I'll be honest, unless you have a million dollars and you can kind of just spend money on regenerating and regenerating and regenerating then sure, do that. But right now, as it stands, this is great probably for like commercial work. You know, VO3 is pretty decent when it comes to like commercial non-storytelling. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's getting there. This is the worst it's going to get. But yeah, they got me.